What's up, you beautiful nerds? Uh, it's your boy, True, dressed up as a Junior from Ruby, and I happen to run into a very talented artist here, D. Kerper. Um, I, don't, I don't know if you guys can see this in the back. So, um, there's, a, there's a lot of work that goes into what you do, I'm imagining, right? A little bit, yeah. A little bit, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of, it's more imagination, okay. than, and then the rest is skill. But about a good 90% of it is imagination and storytelling and, and just plotting everything out. <laughs> okay, cool. So what are some of your favorite styles to draw in? I mean, I, I'm getting the... I'm getting a lot of different vibes, everything I look at, from like realism to... <laughs> yeah, um, so I've, I, I'll have start off by saying like I, I've studied art for okay. uh, since I was in eighth grade. Okay. Uh, I'm 30 now, so that gives you a guessing. <laughs> it's uh, all right, I'm, I, I'm old, I, I'm already I, over 31, so... <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm, I, I'm like, I, you guys do the math, I don't feel like doing it. I, I lost it after 20, you know, I guess. Um, but from there, I, I've picked up a lot. I had to understand um, learning how to draw figures. And I, I started working with character design. Okay. And that ended up going into understanding like Tim Burton style. Yeah, I can definitely see the Tim Burton influences. Yeah. Um, my, but what kind of strikes a lot of people is they see my art and they're like, oh, Tim Burton. But the gorillas. Actually, oh, of course. The so you're a music buff too then. Yes. Okay, um, cool. As I was uh, talking to another lady, I was telling her about my Stevie Ray Vaughan piece. Yeah. I used to play guitar. Okay, sweet. And um, that was my biggest passion. Okay. And so I, I later took music into a lot of my work, um, a lot of rock, like hard rock, <laughs> <laughs> uh, a lot of punk. I had that emo phase in my life. I think everyone has that emo phase in their yeah. life at least once. I'm, I'm, I'm still kind of <laughs> fighting that emo phase every now and then. You know. Hey, I mean, you know what? That's your style. I mean, that. gorillas, come on. Yeah, of course. Yeah, and um, and another thing that people don't really know is there's a music video called um, "All That I Got from from the Used." Oh yeah, yeah, I know that song. So that. The art in that one really kind of fine-tuned where, where I wanted to go with work. Because I'll, I'll, I'll admit, the ones you have to the left kind of look like something off of the used, like some of their older covers yeah. and stuff yeah. like that. And that's why I was like, oh, man, that's pretty cool. Yeah, and then from there, I, I started to, I got into a lot of old Disney, classic Disney, so the okay. skeleton dance. <laughs> um, oh, that meme. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that's going to never die. No, it won't. Pun. Anyways. And, um, <laughs> We're all about puns at Nerd is a New Sexy, by the way, so yes. that is perfect. <laughs> yeah, and um, and a lot of it also is just just fine, not fine humor. Um, dark satire? humor. Yeah, it's dark not satire. satire. Okay. Yeah, um, people call me dark art, but it's like, no, it's not dark art, it's dark Th humor. <laughs> <laughs> So um, that's pretty much. I almost everything. went on a tangent there about dark humor. I'm glad I stopped myself. Yeah, no, I, I, I <laughs> there are things that I, I put out there. And people look at it and they're like, "Oh, that's cute." I'm like, "Wait, wait, give it five more minutes," <laughs> and then they realize and they walk away. And <laughs> walk they, away a little like, "What the heck did I just know?" Yeah, uh, witness. Yeah, 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 I get you. I get you. Yeah. Okay, so. so um. What tips can you give to anyone that's starting to draw or that's been drawing forever? Because, I mean, obviously, you're very talented. Thank you. Um, it's the same thing that even when I even when I have a doubt of myself, it's the same thing that I'm going to carry on and tell people. Keep practicing. Okay. Um, and I, this is one thing that I tell myself constantly, and I do this. Stop comparing yourself to other people. You can... Uh, you can look and get inspired by other people. Okay. But it's really a hard thing when you start comparing yourself and you're like, I'm not good, I'm not good. I'm like, it's just practice. Cool. That is a, uh, man, that's that's deep. That's really deep. All right. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> you have a bunch of different websites, different social medias. Uh, care to name them off real quick for us? Um, basically, everything is going to be D. Kerper Arts. Okay. Um, Instagram. I have a Tumblr. I don't know if that's still. Cool. I, don't, I don't even have a Tumblr, I so I don't yeah, know. Yeah, <laughs> I, I 
decided to do it because <laughs> it was there. Uh, Tumblr, Instagram is the main thing. Uh, Facebook is Deep Kerper Arts. And then I do have a website at deepkerperarts.com. Okay, cool. And uh, I do have an Etsy. I'm sure you know what it is. Yeah, <laughs> Deep Kerper, Deep Kerper yeah. Arts. Yeah, no, <laughs> it's not, no. <laughs> yeah. So. All right, that's perfect. So um, be sure you guys check that out. The links will be in the bottom. Be, uh, be diligent, you know, give her a follow. I mean, this, this is awesome. Thank and, you. Um, Remember, stay nerdy, always.